Good afternoon, it's about 3 p.m. on Sunday the, is it the 11th? 11th of June 2023. This is a, a reading for next week or whenever you feel like coming to it. First of all, I've got the gold foil tarot again, but I've separated the major and minor arcana cards and I'm just going to take a, ma a major card. I'm then going to look at the enchanted map oracle cards and we'll have a crystal of the week from the crystal spirits oracle so let's go what is our focus for next week or oh, whenever you come to it really um whenever you're drawn to the reading in a way i don't like to date specify a reading because you know sometimes you can look at a reading from any tarot reader and find out after you've watched it or whatever that um it was from, it was recorded years and years ago or months ago, but it's still very poignant because we're reading energy um, and energy is fluid. Um, we might live in a three dimensional world, but we're in and out of all the dimensions all the time, just making sure they're the right way up. So, can I have a focus for the week, please, for whenever anybody wants to come to this? One, please. You're not wanting to come today. Just one. What's the message for next week? We've got the world, death, and judgment. Let me figure this out. Okay, right. Okay, they, these three cards together, the world, death and judgment, it's about attitudes. This is about, we are beginning a new cycle. This can also talk about karmic cycles. So, for instance, if you see yourself in the same situation over and over and over again um, you will often for those of you who see yourselves in the same situation over and over again negative situations finding yourself in the shit for the same reasons over and over again it's because you haven't learned the lessons or done anything differently um, cast your mind back to the other day when I did I don't know what the, it was a reading and I think it was I can't remember the name of the card it was from the Oracle enchanted map Oracle and it said if you always do what you always do you'll always get what you get so it's like this is a repeating cycle someone has found or become aware that they are in a repeating cycle of behavior the death card is telling us that we need, once recognised, you need to take action to end that process of always ending up in the same old shit because you're doing the same shit over and over again. And the judgment card is, you, someone's in a situation, someone is in a situation next week or now or next year, whenever you come to this video that you have spent however long repeating a cycle a pattern of behavior it could be the type of person that you are drawn to in a relationship never ends well it could be the type of job that you always go for never ends well because and the reason for that is because you haven't learned the lessons when you find yourself in the shit rather than whinge about uh, the fact that you're in the shit, um, try and turn it round a little bit and just try and think about or ponder on what you could do differently next time around. What have you observed from this situation? 
this never-ending cycle, this karmic cycle can be broken and, and at this moment in time you are able to break it. What's stopping you from breaking that cycle is your own self-judgment. Once you realise that you have been in a pattern of behaviour, a negative or disrupt disruptive pattern of behaviour, once you recognise it, you can end it. But while ever you are giving yourself a lot of shit over it, well, aren't I stupid? Why do I keep doing this? Why do so and so? Why do people keep doing this to me? Instead of looking outward, look at what your part you had to play. What role did you play in that? Um, it feels very connected to relationships or someone who is someone who is very giving uh, and very trusting um too trusting and because of that is finds themselves over and over again being taken advantage of the minute you recognize this as a karmic pattern for you to break you can then break it you can't break it if you are going to judge yourself negatively you should be able to just turn around and say um yeah, okay, right, I recognised this pattern of behaviour, this is what I did this time, this is what I've done every single time, this is the mistake that I've made every single time, I'm not going to do that again, um, but I've learned the lesson from the past. I know I might have said that over and over again, and I, I am aware that sometimes I repeat myself, um, you have to um, just bear with me because... Um, I'm also hearing voices at the same time, so I'm channeling. Right, let's have a um, Enchanted Map Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Let's see, can we have a card that, that will uh, expand on this theme for the week of recognising your repeating negative cycles of behaviour. A lot of negative cycles of behaviour come from the mind. Uh, we want what we want and we go for it anyway, even if it leads, leads us into hot water. Most of the time you will know intuitively that you are making a mistake. Many people ignore that intuition and just go ahead and do it. Um, it's possible that you are called to a little listen to yourself a little bit more um, in the week or months ahead whenever you come to this video but it is um, ripe for um, ending some karmic cycles or well we've got two but I'm not picking both of them so they're both upside down I don't know what they say I'm just feeling Ray K just to see which one is giving off the most heat. Left. Left. And we have wishing well in reverse. 48. Number 48. That's a three. It's about collaboration. There. So it might, be about, it might be about collaborating with others. Oh, it's not 43, it's 40, so I'm looking at 43 and it's 48. Bear with. It's, it's a nice warm day today, it's about 20 degrees today, but it is incredibly humid. Um, but this is, well, this is a, this is the British summer, we were, there's no air at all. Wishing well, um, and it was in reverse by the way, so I'm going to read the reversed. This is not the time to force anything to happen in your life, especially whatever seems to be eluding you. You can't demand that the universe provide you with what you want. Unmet desires can burst into a destructive fire of obsession. Step back, breathe and take your attention away from what you want. Ask instead for what you need. Only the unseen knows how to align desire inspiration and its, manif and its manifest form. As the coin disappears into the mystery of the dark pool at the bottom of the well, have faith. Don't engage in wishful thinking. You must co-create with spirit, not make demands.
You may yet get what you want. Never forget that life is filled with choices. Make a wish, but be open to the enchanted way in which spirit fulfills your desire. When I said earlier that uh, you want what you want and you don't always think about it, I think that's what that card is trying to say. Um, and when you are manifesting you don't ask for anything because if you ask for something you are telling the universe that you are already in lack um, exercise patience if someone has had um, a cycle of behavior where they've literally picked the same person that's never been good for them somebody might be heading towards another one of those relationships the thing is every time we find ourselves in a negative situation that we uh, through a pattern of behavior that we've repeated every time we do that the um, consequences feel a little bit harder to, to cope with so let's have a crystal of the week crystal of the week by the crystal spirits oracle colette baron reed Why am I thinking? I was, um, why am I thinking that? Right, I don't know why, um, but I was thinking perhaps, um, um, I've got in my head tourmaline, tourmaline. I don't have any tourmaline, um, so I couldn't show you what it looks like because I don't have any. I have ordered some soda light though. I thought it might have been here by now, but it's not here. Um, and when I get it, I'll show you. Yeah, because I think one of the people who made a comment saying she thought she had some, um, or she, she she's got soda light. She thinks, but she's not sure. She's not totally sure. So when this soda light comes. I'll uh, nip on quick and show you so delight. I don't own any tourmaline, none at all. We have emerald, emerald, number 22, emerald. Your crystal of the week is emeralds. I do have some emeralds. I don't wear them because they were handed down. And I'm a clumsy sad, so I'm a right clumsy cow. I'd probably lose it. Uh, I've got some emerald earrings and an emerald ring. I, I probably would do something awful with it. So, giving and receiving love, opening your heart to friendship and embracing unity. Ah, love. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. The message for Emerald, the prosperity message. Love and prosperity may seem to be two very different things to you, but Emerald Spirit's message is that the conscious universe, both are your natural birthright and one, one can support the other. In all your business and financial dealings today, ask yourself, what would love do? And let a loving heart guide you to be self-loving and loving towards others. Love means respecting what people offer with good intentions. It means giving to others without fear that you won't get the return on investment in the exact amount or form you hope for. Love and prosperity flow among all of us and today you are called to align with that flow. Love could be um, how you feel towards a, a baby a puppy, an animal, a plant, it could be anything, smile at a stranger, remember we are all one, we are all tiny sparks of God and um, the world could do with a little more love right now, especially in this um, climate of antagonism, there's a lot of antagonism and I believe that is because um, we're in a bit of a spiritual war at the moment um, and in order just to uh, ride through that you need to keep, stay peaceful and loving and if you um, fly off the handle and if you um, trip off that path 
just get yourself back on it. Um, we need more love in the world and we need more gratitude. Anyway, I thank every single one of you for subscribing and I will see you. Um, it will be a new moon soon, so um, there'll be a new moon, new moon reading coming up in the next few days. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Take care. Ta-ra!